Hey, welcome back to 8482 Media. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the width tool. Um, and together with the width tool, we'll be using other tools um, in this little exercise. We'll be using um, the curvature tool. So for you to be able um, to actually use the width tool, you need to have a path. So that's why we're going to create a little swirl. If you still don't know how to use the curvature tool, you can go ahead and look at one um, that I've already made and that 8482 Media has. So you guys should go check it out. I'll put a link on the video. So now that I created a swirl or the whatever path or shape that I want, I'm just gonna do V. And now the width tool can be found here or Shift W for width. I always use my shortcuts, Shift W. And so for you to be able to use the width tool, you just click and drag on the anchor points because what it does is that it it increases or decreases the anchor points. And you can see that there are two other anchor points that are created because right, for you to be able to increase the width, you have to have those anchor points at the edges. Now you can see that the width tool already creates um, a degradé in width um, and actually what I always love using with width tools are like gradients I feel it always looks really nice um, I'll be doing another video on how to use gradients because there's also a new um, gradient function which is pretty nice however going back to the width tool so it will automatically do something like this or if you want you can totally change it up right if you want to have a larger end you can go ahead and do that or if you want to just change this part here, I can just click and drag anywhere on the path in order, and it will change it. If you want to simply um, increase the width of the line but only on one side, so instead of doing this, if you click Option, it will only do a single side. Instead of doing both, you can do it like this too. So this allows you more freedom. And this is with the option key. Now for the width tool, it's really interesting to use it with typography. Um, I'll be doing another video on how um, to use the width tool with typography. As for you to be able to do that, you need to also know um, how to ungroup and unlink um, each letter of the type for you to be able to edit them separately and basically create your own typography. Um, so I'll be showing another video about that. However, now with the width tool, many times you don't want these straight edges. They're very rough, harsh on the eyes. So what you can do is that you can go to stroke. And now when you click on stroke, you have all of these settings. You have the weight, which you can just increase or decrease. I'm it's going to go to, four, I don't know, 20. And what we want is the cap. That will actually change the ends. And what you have for the rest also is you can use dash lines. Um, so you can just do how about a five point. That might be, so that's too small. Um, a ten point. And you can mix that up. There you go. Also, you can put arrowheads, but with the width line, does that, that doesn't work. That's really more for just normal lines um, if you need. But with the width tool, you'll see here, I'll do this. Um, but yeah, it just goes a bit crazy because it just condenses at the actual head of, you know, arrowhead. Well, you see here the profile, actually, the profile is pretty interesting. Um, so the one that we have, this little image here <laughs> that looks a bit like a whale, um, that's our own profile that we have just created. So, uh, I mean, if we want to download it and keep it for other times, we can just do add to profiles. Or we can just, you know, try other ones out. Um, this is another one I have. Remove this. This is another one that I have saved. Um, or you have these prerequisite what not prerequisites, um, pre-made ones. Flip them around whichever way. Not working. There you go. 
so yeah so this is the width tool i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it helped you clear some questions if you have any questions comment them below and we'll get them answered thank you for watching click subscribe to 8482 media to stay up to date with our tutorials have a great one